y'all. It's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee. And today I am back with another Shake It, Scrap It, Create It layout. Um, today's layout is going to be kind of simple and straightforward, but it's about getting the pictures down. Um, and this week's prompts is embossing, teal, and glitter. So, for embossing, I had a couple people message. It did not have to be wet embossing, heat embossing. Um, you know, you can use an embossing folder. You could do... There's lots of options. Um, you could take a stylus. Is that what they're called? The little thing with the ball on the end. And you could take a stencil if you didn't have an embossing folder or a machine and you could emboss um, whatever um, with your stencil, like using your little stylus thing. Um, you can barely spritz your paper and it'll like take the mold easier. Um, lots of options. The color teal and some glitter and we're good to go. Sorry if the camera is shaking. I was trying to scoot in a little closer. Okay. So, today, um, I was racking my brain on how I was going to incorporate everything, make it work. Um, it may change a little bit, but, um, pretty much, this is, I already embossed my pieces. Uh, and I'm using this embossing folder. It's from Timu. I don't know how well you can actually see it, but it circles with lines in them. And... I have some other things laid out. I don't even know if I'm going to use these. Um, and I have some snowflakes. Okay, I can't see. But I need to scoot down a little bit. Hopefully. Okay, let me stand up real quick. Okay, we're good. We're still on screen. Alright, so pretty much I just embossed a bunch of little papers. Um... This is just a Vicky Booten paper, um, and I just embossed this side of it, all with the same thing. I also have some of this. This was actually part of the parking pass. You can still see there's some words on there, but it was off of this, and I ended up cutting this out because I wanted to include if, if ephemera. There we go, if I can talk. Um... And so I cut it up to use it to just bring in more of that color, tied in, got all the teals and the different blues going. Um, this is kind of, I already know how I'm going to lay out my pictures. So um, I already have that decided. And I am including this and I'll just cut a slit in my page protector to run it through so everybody can still flip through it. But it's an actual little book that we got. This was, uh, all of these, this is the rest of my pictures from over Gatlinburg. This is from, um, I think two years ago on spring break. We, um, ended up taking Brooke up, um, to Gatlinburg to go ice skating for her birthday. And, um, over Gatlinburg is a ski area and amusement park. So, they had these bumper ice cars. Of course, they had food. Um, and they had ice skating. And they had the carousel. Y'all have heard me talk about that. That wasn't. <laughs> it was a tiny kid baby carousel. But we rode it anyways because we had already bought tickets sight unseen. Um, I was trying to think. I think they had something else. I don't remember, but... Well, I could probably look in here and it would tell you. But I think they have, I think they offer skiing year-round, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, they have snow tubing. Um, we did not do that. Um, they have ice skating. Oh, they have a wildlife area. I don't think I knew that. Um, and... It's just a tourist destination, pretty much. They have an alpine slide, probably whenever it's warmer outside. Um, but this is in Gatlinburg. So, anyways, 
Um, I just wanted to incorporate some of the ephemera that I saved from the trip because, you know, we save those little things and then we forget we have them and they don't get included. So I actually remembered because I looked through my stuff a few days ago and saw this and thought, oh, I really should use that. So even though it's spring, we're going to scrapbook. This was on spring break, but it's wintry because it's ice and it was extremely cold. So I pulled this out of my stash. This is a swap item from when I was first swapping. Let's see. Th well, not when I was first swapping, but this is from 2009. Um, my crafty buddy Pat Martin made this um, in a, a Yahoo group called Lucky Bug that we were in. But this is beautiful. I still love it. Um, I went through a lot of swap stuff over the years. I kept some. I gave a lot away. Um, but there's a few things I held on to because I loved them so much. But I've never found a place to use them. So I'm going to use it. And so um, this is also from the same group. And Shelly made this one. This one was in 2010. And it's super pretty. So, I'm going to just work on working all this in. So, I think what I'm going to do is just start by gluing my pictures down. And then, pretty much, I am just going to make a, um, I guess, kind of a grid, a grid style layout. Um... The grids will be all over the place, but <laughs> kind of a block. That's more of what the word I'm looking for. A block style, more of a block style layout. It feels nice to finally use up these swap items. They're from so long ago. I loved them then and I still love them now. They're awesome. I love the little tildes. Like, I love them. Always have. Alright, and then I'm going to put this one down. And my paper strips, hopefully I'll glue everything good and not have to rip nothing up because I kind of have it laid out. I took a picture of it and I numbered where all these papers, different size papers go that I took off to emboss. Um... I numbered them and I put it on, I have a picture I'm looking at on my laptop of <laughs> the numbers, so maybe I can keep it somewhat straight. Um, no guarantees, because y'all know I usually end up ripping something up before it's over and done with. So, we're just going to go with the flow and see what happens. All right. I love it so far. All right, let's move this back over. <laughs> We're just going to put it back and forth and back and forth. I hope you guys are enjoying playing along with the Shake It, Scrap It, Create It um, things. I know I have enjoyed it. It helps get me outside of my box. So, I hope you guys are enjoying it. It goes on for the whole year, if you don't know, if this is the first time you're watching and would like to play along. You can be featured on here if you send me your um, stuff by Friday. Your, it doesn't even have to be a layout. It could be a card. It could be a junk journal page, be a planner page, um, anything, a card, whatever you want to do, um, it's there for the taking. You can do whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to wait a minute on gluing this one down so that I can get my paper strips lined up. Okay, so I do know this one is going to go right here, so I am just going to glue that down. And my glue is stopping up on me. Y'all know it would. I'm filming, so it's time for stuff to start messing up. 
I'm going to have to get the big needle. I'm still loving my little glue topper. I'll show y'all real quick. Well, I don't know. I thought I had a card. Um, what is her name? I'll have to find it now. Now that I said I'm going to do it, I ain't going to be able to find it. I have a whole little mess rolling over here on my table. Ah! Crash. Avalanche. Y'all never believe me that I have a mess, and I really do. I mean, it's really a mess. Okay. I don't know where it is. I will try to post the link below for the glue topper if y'all are interested. I know there is a discount code. Um, I think Ginger's Corner because um, I think her name is Debbie. But I could be wrong. But she has an Etsy shop. And these are amazing. Absolutely love, love, love it. Okay. Um, Alright. It's time to start looking at numbers now. Because I numbered all these little pieces on the back. Okay. This one's going to go up here on top. These embossed beautifully. If you can't tell. And I'm just trying to kind of... Nothing's going to be straight because it's just a blocky layout. But... Um, just trying to line up like the picture edges versus all the other things. Let's see if this one's number one. Yep, number one. I don't know if y'all can see in the light how it's embossed, but it turned out really good. That's the first time I used that embossing folder. That one's going to go right there. And then, let's see. This one is going to go right here. This one was number three. And this had the words and stuff on it from the bottom of the thing I cut off that... I'm okay with that. I just wanted to be able to bring in some of the color like from this so that it would tie in with everything else since we had a lot of blues and stuff going on. Um, this one goes on the bottom. Oh, my glue. Now if they would just invent a glue that never clogged. <laughs> telling you, you could get rich. You could get rich on that idea. If you make a glue that never clogs, give me credit so I get some royalties. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the first one to ever have that, um, that thought. Okay, let's see. There's another one that goes here. Um, it's not that one. This one. To add in my glitter, I honestly, well, that one's not supposed to be like that, but it is now. We're going to go with that. Okay, and then we have a number six and a seven over here, a six and a seven, okay. Luckily that ain't glued down yet, but I'm afraid I didn't leave myself enough room because I wanted the little space in between everything just to give that block look. I don't even know what I remember what I was saying. Y'all, it is late. It's like 2.19 a.m. So, I burned way past the midnight oil on this one. <laughs> uh, 
I don't have enough room for some reason. What happened? It was fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. I'm just going to glue it down, and it's going to be called good enough. Because I'm not that picky. I very much go with the flow. And it will be alright. I'm just being um, generous with the glue on here. Since this is heavy, it's a whole little booklet. And I want it to stay down. So whenever it's opened up, it'll be alright. Alright, so there's that. Alright, and then, let's see, number eight goes up here on top. Need to press it down a little extra just because of the, where it's embossed, it don't want to stay. Number nine. goes this direction number 10 goes here This one broke. I knew I didn't do a piece that small. It must have broke off in the machine whenever I was embossing on one of the lines. It must have cut it off. So I will just glue that on here. And this one goes here. like it overall so then I just have a bunch of snowflakes I had this but I don't I don't quite think I can work it in because it's I don't want to have all of the ice skates in one part you know and I'm just I just can't make it fit since it's skating this way I don't think I'm going to use that but that's the piece, if you watch the other layout, that was cut off the little penguin. I saved it so I could use it. So, let's see about maybe using some of these little penguins that are doing different things. I thought they could be cute. And Brooke absolutely loves penguins. Let's just put some of them around here that's doing... Activities. Hmm. Here's this one that's maybe do one there. The other ones, well, this one has ice skates, but the other ones kind of look a little too birthday-ish for me. That one has on a red hat. It kind of don't match. But I feel like we should have five. Because. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's just put him. Okay. Good enough. All the rest of these are holding presents. A cake and ice cream. And this one has a little purse thing. So I don't think I'll use that one. I think actually I'll stick that out of the winter stuff now and put it into um, the birthday, my birthday category. But, so here's the pages. And then I think I'm just going to add in a few snowflakes on some of these. This one's, well, I was going to say it's glittery, but then I would be lying because it's really not. 
this is the one I was thinking of. This one is glittery. To add the glitter. Okay. I'm just going to do this. And add this on here. And then I'm just going to add a few snowflakes here and there throughout the layout. And it's going to be good. These are blue, but I kind of wanted to just do white. So it would show up. They would show up really good on the um, background since it's already blue. Um, let's see, let's put one up here. I have a bunch of different ones. All of these have come from swaps and all of that stuff, so. Ah! Why are you not wanting to stay? Hold it down for a second. All right. Um, let's see. Maybe one more. One, two, three, four. Let's just do one there. So that takes care of our embossing and the teal color and technically we have a glitter snowflake, but um, just to jazz it up a little bit more, I think I'm going to add some stickles to my snowflakes. And then I think I'm going to do my journal in here. Um, I actually need to get another white pen because I ran mine out today, if y'all can believe that. I mean, like, I literally use up two white pens. But I use my white gel pens almost every day and for all the embellishments and stuff. So, I mean, I guess I do use them up. But it's still sad. So, I'm going to have to make a trip to the store. Hopefully, Walmart has them. All right. So, I think that is going to be the layout. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me grab the jars and we will um, pull for next week's prompts. I'm going to move that one over because I don't want to set stuff on my glitter stuff. All right. So, let's see what the prompts are going to be. Alright, this one is for embellishments. I'm just going to take my ink pen and really mix them up in there because hopefully we'll pull some stuff we haven't got before. Chipboard. I can't remember if we got chipboard already before or not. Alright, shapes, colors, numbers. Let's see what we get out of here. Red. Techniques and tools. Stenciling. I know we've had that one before. Alright, so chipboard, red, and stenciling is our prompts for next week. If you want to play along, send me your submissions by Friday. And um, you can send them by Facebook Messenger or to the email below. So thank you guys for hanging out. Bye, y'all.